What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Poopop. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. Of course, we're back here on the Millennial Farmer map. Well, because that's, you know, the map we're playing on. How y'all doing? Welcome back to the videos. Uh, welcome back to another... Another, another farm sim. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, first things first, guys. We actually have... Um, there we go. We actually do have a harvest ready to go. Our field's ready. Uh, we are coming up on selling times. So that's very exciting. We'll get to sell and hopefully buy some land. We do have a million dollars. So that's good. Between the bail mission and the... Um, what you doodle? Just all the missions. The corn that we have sold, that's how we got our money. So that is very nice. We actually might look at some land here in a minute just to see just a little, little, you know, just to take a little, little look-see and see how much land actually is on this map. I haven't really looked at it. All right. So here we go. We are going to set up course plate. Of course. I know we, we love our course play around here, right? And we are going to go around the field a couple times. And then we're actually going to try... We're going to do the lands. We're going to do the lands with multi-tool 2. I have not done this, but I have been told that it works. Uh, we'll see. It's probably going to be one of those things, right? <laughs> For me to... Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, so we're going to try it. Come on, there we go. Okay, thank you, phone. I don't know if you guys heard that, but Jiminy Christmas, Batman. Apparently, there has been a severe thunderstorm watch issued from my location. <laughs> no, there hasn't. It's not on the radar yet, but it has been. It has been issued. Okay, so we will make you the left guy, because why not? Left guy. Okay, I'm trying to see this severe thunderstorm. There are there is a possibility of uh, rain for me today. It's Monday afternoon for me, of course. Let's uh, turn down the old uh, notifications on the phone. Holy cow! Whenever that, so I I run like a local um, here in St. Louis, like our Fox station is Fox Two, you know, and uh, I've talked about them numerous times. And I run their weather app on my phone. I really like their weather app. It's a good app. They're they're really good when it comes to weather. I actually really like their their weather team and stuff. And uh, whenever there's a watch or a warning, the phone lets you know. <laughs> That's for sure. The phone's like, hey, how's it going? All right. That's, that was enough terrifying phone talk for me. Um, we need to grab, of course, up the X9. There we go. Copy that. Make him the right combine. Start unfolding. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Rough ride in here, you know? No big deal. Nothing the old X9. Old X9? New X9 can't handle. Definitely not old. Not old at all. Actually. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's not my course play button anymore. There we go. 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 How long is this actually going to take? Two hours if they don't stop. I don't think I have two hours today, so I will not be getting this harvest done today. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, but this is what it is, right? I kind of have procrastinated on recording this video today. Because, well, you know, it's Monday, and uh, everybody's got a case of the Mondays, right? Or something. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. We're not actually going to run this, are we? Good, good. We can run three wagons, right? Definitely two. Definitely two. We do need a faster tractor on this, uh, on that one for sure, but that's okay for now. All right. Truck. Got a truck all, truck all backed up and on the old, uh, what's your doodle here? Auto drive. All right, auto drive, auto drive. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so we need to change this. We are going to fill. Okay, the grain doesn't matter, I've been told. We are going to fill up at the... 
one do I use? The three? I think it's just that one. And we're going to take it to... Take it to the bin. I think that's what I want. Pretty sure that's what I want. All right. All right, there we go. He should be good. Still need to get that second trailer. <laughs> I haven't gotten that. Oh, goodness. Well, I, like I said, I've been trying to kind of save for land. Land to me is more important right now than uh, equipment. I think we got a pretty good uh, assortment of equipment. For the most part, I mean, we got we got some pretty good stuff. So, yeah, mostly just need some land now. Let's track. Ooh, kind of dirty. And I actually, hey, that's a good thing because it actually just rained on this map overnight. When I was fast timing for this video, it actually was raining, which means it doesn't rain in the shed. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Okay. And I think I might need to go change my auto drive on the combines as well. I need to make sure that they are set up. Okay, so we want this to be that F3. That's the one that I made. Of course, not labeled right, but you know, that's okay. Uh, what are we playing? Empty the shed simulator? Empty the shop simulator? That's what this is looking like right now. <laughs> it's all like Autobots roll out. <laughs> Holy cow. So I've been talking about my wheel setup that I'm, I'm in the process of assembling. And I almost brought the desk part home yesterday from the farm. But to haul it, it does not fit underneath the uh, tonneau cover in the back of Dad's truck. But we have to go with the tonneau cover up, which is fine. Except for it was raining yesterday. So that did not work at all. So we did not bring it home, but we are getting close. We are getting very close to being able to, you know, fire up the, the whole wheel setup. And I really want to try it on these two tracks because I have not used a wheel on 19, like at all. But I do plan on setting it up, fully setting it up, just to give it give it the old try, uh, if nothing else. And yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll make probably at least a video. Okay, this, this one is set up already. I don't know if it has to be like on the auto drive the same way. I think it does. Sir. Sir, you guys probably couldn't hear that, but my phone just talked again and I turned it down and it was still just as loud as it was um, the first time. So, all right, this is actually where he's supposed to be sitting right now. So that's good. Okay. Okay. And like X9 probably, you know, starting to need you here soon, buddy. Outside rounds, though. Just remember that. Outside rounds, they're always a pain. They're always a pain. Okay, so Rear Thunderstorm watch has been issued. It is 85 degrees and... Ooh. I wouldn't even know it's 85. It's 76 in here and feels great. Oh, look at that. The Rear Thunderstorm watch has been issued and we are definitely in it. Those are the whole St. Louis area, so it's not like I'm giving away anything there, you know? <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so let's see. Actually, curious about something because my buddy Matt modified some mods. Oh, we don't have. Okay, they didn't change because he used a different name. So if we buy any more X9s, we need to buy this one because he put a turbo pipe on it. So it unloads at a way faster rate. So, yeah. All right, what are we having difficulties with here, buddy? What are we doing? What are we doing, Tony? Because their auto drive's not open? <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Auto drive need to be like that? I don't actually know. Because there is that pass all the way around the field, so he should be able to figure this out, but... Hey, let's just get the big one out do some empty and you know and same thing with articulated tractor i'm actually very curious like to use or it'll be so much smoother you know so i'm not saying i'm gonna record like all my videos over there on the new setup but i might i honestly might i don't know we'll see where is that line yeah there's that line that, that, okay i want to make sure something like didn't break with my auto drive here 
They are not having it right now. It's probably the outside rounds, you know? Outside rounds are probably the problem. So we'll just uh, kind of putt our way around the field and we'll get over there and hopefully those two dudes don't like absolutely annihilate each other. <laughs> that would be the hope. I'm just saying. Oh, goodness. So those of you... Oh, something's moving. There, it's finally moving. A little, little frame hit there. One of those tractors is finally moving down there. So those of, the, those of you that are OGs on the channel here, those of you that have been around for a long time, you know I used to play a fair bit of Minecraft. And I've, I've been very honest and open about talking about why I don't play Minecraft anymore. Uh, that was mostly in the... I think that was in the Madison County. No, not Madison County. Would have been like the Lakeland Vale series, I think. I was just having some issues with uh, people I was playing Minecraft with and 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 stuff like that. And I just, you know, being accused of like cheating all the time in a server just because I am a mod, obviously, it's my server. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm always using God powers because I wasn't, you know, and, and stuff like that. It's all water under the bridge. It is what it is. But I recently found out about quarries in Minecraft. There's a couple mods out there that allow you to have quarries. So it does all the digging for you. Now, of course, it's expensive to get into these quarries and, and whatnot, but so you still do have to like do your initial like setup mining and all that good stuff. But oh, they're both coming. Look at there's both auger wagons in me. Let's go. Three auger wagons, no waiting. So like, I've actually been seriously looking at this quarry stuff for Minecraft and seriously like kind of wanting to to play it so we might be playing minecraft here very soon and actually since this video comes out on tuesday we might have played minecraft last night on stream uh it is currently three o'clock in the afternoon and i am not sure if i'm playing minecraft on stream tonight or if i'm playing uh, automation empire so yeah i'm not honestly sure yet what is uh what is being played but what i do know is this whole quarry stuff in Minecraft is very interesting to me. And I really, I actually do want to play it. I really want to, I want to play it. I think it could be a lot of fun. So look at this, look at this. Three auger wagons, no waiting. Except for this back guy's going to have to wait. He can't pull up that far because the front guy's in his way. And the front guy's going to take a year and a half to unload. So we'll just kind of sneaky sneak maybe and see if we can do this. Can we unload this guy? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I had it. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh. No. Oh. I get it, and then it goes away. Okay, hang on. We got this. I better get moved. I can just do this. I'm just driving here like this. There we go. <laughs> And he's like, deuces, I'm out. <laughs> I think we have a traffic jam. Good old, good old traffic jam. Good screenshot right there. Thumbnail. Right there, boys. Thumbnail. Yeah, but he's like, I just don't know about my life right now. And I think that auger wagon needs to back up. Yeah. I'll just get out the way. And there's some setting, apparently, I need to put... Probably on that second combine to make him wait. Right? Isn't there a setting? There's a setting. I just don't know where it's at. I don't know what it's called either. Let's give it a look. See if I can find it. It would be something like... I don't even know. I'm sure I'm looking right at it too. And like, It's the convoy, isn't it? Isn't that what it is? I could be wrong. I thought that's what it was. It's like the is yeah. No. I don't know. Oh, okay. oh no 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 no. No, I was just gonna scroll and see if there's any more down there. That was the like offset for that. Okay, let's quit messing around with settings, okay? Shall we? We shall. Alright, back to our wagon. Because really, I just don't want combines to stop. So I don't mind running three wagons, you know? I mean, 
I can't run this one on auto drive because it's wider than the other two. And then he won't hit the truck when he goes to unload. I've, I've tried that before and it doesn't work. So that part is kind of, kind of weird, but. And honestly, once we get outside round done, probably don't need me. I mean, combines are going to stop, but that's not the end of the world. You know, it's not great. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can sneak in here. They are not going to be able to. Okay. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad thing with this back come. I did fill up and let the other guy get ahead a little ways, you know? It would not be a bad thing at all if that happened. So I think I'm just going to let him fill up. And we'll come up here and run with this guy for a little bit. Make sure he's empty. Keep running. There you go. I was like, come on, I know you can hit me. The spots are turned up on these combines right now, so they shoot the train pretty far. Pretty far. But yeah, Minecraft. Oh my goodness. It's been forever since I've been excited about Minecraft. And if we can get these quarries running. See, the problem is we got the quarries working in 1.12. 1.12.2. Minecraft 1.12.2. But the problem with Minecraft 1.12, any of them, is there's no kelp, there's no bamboo. So it takes away like some key things because, you know, honestly, kelp is very important because of the kelp farms that you can set up for smelting reasons that have big furnace arrays and stuff. So, you know, you use kelp as your fuel, right? So I'm sitting here and I'm like, I don't know if I want to play 1.12. I'd rather play something like 15 maybe. But we can't, we can't get it working for 15 like we can for 12. So it's just kind of weird. And then for some reason, like the quarries, the, they take like an energy or like a, like an engine to run them. But for some reason, the quarry mod like just doesn't have the, doesn't have the engines. And it's like, well, that's strange. But finally, last night I found a YouTube video. It was like Carson and I have been like digging deep into this. And actually shout out to Arb, Arb from streams know who you are if you're watching um he got us working on the 1.12.2 which that one does have the engines but for some reason the other ones which they're it's actually a different mod they took the mod changed the name and they keep updating it but like it doesn't have the engines and so it's like well this is kind of crap so now we i finally found a video last night where they mentioned some other other mods and so i like sent the video to carson because that's all over my head to be honest like I can, I can, you know, do the farm sim mods, but modding Minecraft, oh man, which actually, that in itself, that I'm even talking about playing modded Minecraft is a, sh that should be a shocker to many of you, because uh, for years I always said no, I'm not playing modded Minecraft, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, mostly because like a lot of those modded packs, it's they had so much weird stuff and it's like complicated and, you know, I'm just a simple redneck from Missouri, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> That's kind of out of my, out of my league, you know, over my head a little bit, you know, so I don't, I'd just rather not. All right. We need to send our truck. We need to put a little grain on our truck and get him sent to get him out of the way of the combines, basically. So I'm going to drive in the crop here just a little bit, switch to the truck. And then when they get close, I'll uh, go ahead and send the truck around the field just to get him out of the way here. And then I'll jump back on my wagon and giving him some grain will make him stop and empty. Hopefully giving enough time for the truck for the cut mines to get past him. Uh, hopefully we'll see. We will see. I don't know if this will work, but yeah. And then, like I said, probably after the outside round, I might just kind of not, uh, I not, may not worry about the combines too much. I think I'm going to, I need to look at the plan because we got a million bucks. We do have a $3 million loan out, though. So there is that. But... It's $3 million, right? Yeah, we have a $3 million loan. We do have some corn to sell. We're going to have a lot more corn to sell. So that's good. So while we are letting all this run here, because auger wagons are coming down the field now, uh, land. Land, land, land. So field force 531 would actually be an okay pickup because you know it's right here like field seven i'm not too excited about because course play doesn't seem to like it anyway so although 
I don't know about this ditch if it's gonna stay. Let me customize this ditch a little bit, or this map, I should say. Uh, oh, that's out of my price range. That would actually be a really good pickup, though. Field two. Field two for 1.7. I think that might be the strategy. Save up for field two. Because it's right here, you know, and it's big and it's, it's a lot of fields. So I think that might be the strategy to save up for field two. I mean, we're over halfway to it, so why not, right? All right, course play, or not course play, auto drive. I get it, bro. <laughs> I get it. You're having problems. I understand. Holy Hannah Montana. Like, it's really trying to. It's trying to work, but it's just not. But it really wants to work, but then it just doesn't. Now they're going to collide, it looks like. Oh, nope. I should wonder if that's. Oh, nope. Please stop. I think once we get past the outside rounds, outside rounds are always a nightmare. I don't care what mod you're using, auto drive, course play, whatever. It seems like it's always an issue. But field four actually wouldn't be bad either. If we did four and seven and then cut down some trees and tried to get rid of that ditch, that would be a field if we <laughs> seven, four, and one, plow that in with three. Or maybe even make a separate field, honestly. Probably a separate field. Just made a monster, you know? Pretty awesome. Alrighty. I feel like this uh, uh, auger wagon should be full, but this thing has capacity for days, so. Not an issue. Yeah. Oh, I thought we had. I think they're having issues back there. <laughs> I mean, they're still upright. They're not, like, you know, on their side yet, so they're doing okay. They're, do they're doing all right, I guess. Not sure. But I can just drive along, get these guys emptied, and keep them moving. Uh, the eventual goal, by the way, would be to run, say, two of these big carts. And get them on, like, big articulated, like, newer John Deere's that have a little more speed, like the 8, or, no, sorry, 9, 9R, X, whatever it is. We've talked about this before, and... I always get confused on the John Deere. The John Deere stuff. Oh, man, just squeezing by. Look at that. Look at that semi. Oh, little. Okay, we need a new, new tire. Probably a new snoot on that combine. On the head, I should say. That's okay. It happens, right? It definitely happens. All right, one round. Just about done around the field now, so that's good. That is good. Boy, I will tell you this much, guys. So, like I said earlier, you know, it's Monday now. We were at the farm yesterday. And uh, it is definitely uh, grass growing season here for us. Oh, my goodness. Grass and, well, we have a lot of clover and stuff from the flood. We, we never got our grass really put back in like we wanted to after the flood. And so, we, we still have a lot of weeds and stuff, too. But, holy cow. I cut last Sunday, and usually, you know, it's once a week. Sometimes this time of year, though, I will say, we, we do have to cut twice you know, a week. Otherwise, you just can't get through it. And uh, I went out Sunday to cut, like, yesterday, a few days ago for you guys. And I had to cut pretty much the entire farm twice. It was just, it was awful. It was absolutely awful. So, that was not uh, not fun at all. It was really bad. All right, so this is where I need the back combine to fill up again. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a setting I can set to make him stay back farther. I'll have to figure that out. Um, yeah, it was nasty. Nasty mowing at the farm yesterday. It was kind of wet. It was kind of cloudy. And just like, you know, the, the, the grass and I guess like the clover. Clover has a high moisture content, I swear. And it's hard to dry clover, to be honest. And there's a lot of clover at the farm right now, so it was really brutal mowing. But that's, you know, it's just part of it, and uh, it's all good. I mean, if nothing else, like, I don't mind putting hours on the lawnmower. I enjoy driving the lawnmower. It's not as much fun when you're going, like, you know, two miles an hour your first pass, because, like, the lawnmower wants to, you know, I'm only cutting on three inches. The lawnmower wanted to die, like, the whole time, because it was just so tall and so thick down there right now and kind of wet so two miles an hour putting along is not exactly the most fun thing ever but it just gave me more time to listen to uh some good music in my uh earbuds you know that's all it did 
and just gave me more time to listen to music. And that I'm okay with, you know? Yeah, I think this ditch is gonna go. We don't need drainage, right? Just cover open or close. His cover is open. I'd fill him up real fast and make him run back to the... Nah, it's closed. Okay. Fill him up and make him run back to the... <laughs> to the truck. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I wonder where the other guy fell in at. He's just sitting down here. All in the corner. Okay. That's kind of amusing. So, we are going to buy land, but not yet. So, we really just kind of need to get this harvest done, you know? Need to just get this harvest done. That's really all it comes down to at this point. Just need to harvest. You know, it's harvest time in this little town. We're going to pay the loan down, build the diesel tank up. Because it's harvest time. I feel like that's all we do in these videos. Is <laughs> oh, man. I do need to start streaming this map. I think I might next week. I'll stream it like say on Tuesdays and then on Thursdays I'll stream the multiplayer map or vice versa probably. I don't know one of those ways this week on the multiplayer map by the way coming out later today or at noon today for you guys over on Twitch link is in the description we will be hopefully one step closer to the cows we are, have been trying to get into cows for like a week now almost it's just a very time consuming process to to do it and on Saturday, we actually forage harvested or chaffed uh, about 8 million liters, 8.5 million liters, I think it was, of chaff to turn into silage to turn into TMR eventually for the cows. So that's kind of like a lot. <laughs> that's like, that's definitely a lot. So actually today for you guys on Twitch, we will be forage harvesting again. We've got some cool mods that really help us out with the forage harvesting process. Those like auger wagons with auger coming off the back. They really help out. They're really nice. We will be running course play drivers to haul the chaff. And uh, hopefully a couple of the guys, you know, pop in to help out. It'd be nice. Otherwise, I'll be running more course play. <laughs> if it's just me, I'm going to need some course play, you know. That's for sure. Can he actually empty him or not? He can't. The scum mine's in his way. Oh, no. There he goes. Oh. Just a little too close here, I think, is the problem. That's okay, though. That guy could fill up and slow down a little. I could, you know, jump in him and stop him for a couple of minutes. Let this here come by and get just a little farther ahead, you know? Just a smidge would be nice, right? They have nothing else. We are getting kind of full here on our auger wagon, 72%. Quite a load on this old tractor. That's okay. This old tractor, somebody was asking me if I was going to replace this tractor. Absolutely not. I will find a use for this tractor, even if it sits in the yard and rots in the in the rain and it turns into rust. I don't care. I will find a use. I like the look of this tractor. This particular one, maybe not quite as much because the, the sounds are different. But the look of this tractor, the old school look. Oh, square headlights. I just, wait, are they square? They're around on this one, aren't they? Yeah, they're around. Never mind. But they just, there's something about it, man. It just looks so cool. It just looks so cool. It's like old school American power, you know? So I will keep this tractor probably, probably for the life of this map. Plus it's really cheap horsepower. And depending on what I'm doing, it's, it's not bad to have, you know? Not bad to have at all. Is that guy full? That guy is full. That auger wagon. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Does that mean the other one's coming up here then or? Not moving. Okay. Kind of what I figured. To be completely honest. I was like, there's no way. No shot he's actually moving, right? The other guy that doing, he keeps putting his pipe out like, like he's going to get unloaded or something, but he's not. Okay. The other guy's moving now, I think, because that was a little leg spike there. Pretty typical. I was like, my sound in my head changed. What's going on here? I heard a noise outside, so I'm going to look at my camera. And it's just my neighbors out there slamming car doors because that's what they do. <laughs> and they're not even like those neighbors. It's a nice family. But boy, they don't know how to shut a car door. I swear. They just absolutely go full yeet on a car door like every single time. It's kind of 
kind of weird, to be honest. Maybe it's partly their kids, because they have, like, a couple kids. And, you know, kids are kind of rough on stuff, let's be real, you know? So that, that could be all right. I want to save some room for this other combine. Let that one fill up. Well, not fill up, but, you know. We'll let the outside combine run. Ideally, this combine fills up and stops, like, for a second, and then we can get him. Obviously, right now, we can't get him. This is what... In multiplayer, this would drive me insane if two of the guys were like that close. But it's like, come on. No, don't need to harvest that close, you know? Unless you're front and forge harvester. Then you get up on your on your on your buddy, you know. Get real close. Okay, 80%. Lights are on. Beacons, beacons, let's go. Hyperactive beacons have engaged. Right, that auger wagon is emptying. The truck is filling. That is good. On an all autonomously. <laughs> Sound like a SpaceX stream. This is an autonomous vehicle. Show of hands who stayed up and watched the crew one come back the other night. I did, for sure. And it was great. Good time. The video kind of sucks though, because you know it's NASA. But like it's not the best coverage that you could hope for. But it was nice to be able to see what we were able to see from NASA coverage. NASA coverage is notoriously, in my opinion, kind of bad. Uh, SpaceX is is better, a lot better, and then like a third party like NASA Spaceflight, even better, even better, in my opinion. So there's that. All right, 94 on this combine here. He is getting there. Our other auger wagon, I thought would be driving up here, driving to us by now, but nope. He's just kind of chilling over there. I think he's set to go to this outside one. So he's like, not worried about it, you know? 98. <laughs> Come on, 99. There should be 100 here in a second. All right. And we're right here to follow the line. We're actually going to wait a second, though. Let the other combine get a little farther ahead. Just a little. Nothing too crazy. And then we are going to need an unload. And that wagon's moving over there again. There. Maybe this time he'll actually come do something, huh? <laughs> that wagon has done like nothing this whole time. And he's driving straight through the crop like a, yep. Driving like some of the guys in multiplayer. Holy cow. Tell you what, we, this past Saturday on multiplayer, which those videos are going to come out starting uh, today, actually, on the second channel. Links also in the description. And tomorrow. Um, on the second channel, but like we got a lot done this past Saturday. Of course, you know, we do farm for, for 10 hours on Saturdays, which is going to be, uh, probably coming to an end here soon. And then of course, when 22 comes out, we'll be farming at least 10 hours every Saturday. <laughs> Once 22 comes out, let's keep it real, you know, but, uh, yeah, we're looking to, uh, maybe start playing, like maybe start that 10 hour stream with like a different game for a little bit, you know, some golf with your friends or something. I don't know. Just something. Start with something else and then jump into farms and like late afternoon kind of thing, like four o'clock or something, five o'clock. Probably yeah, three three to four o'clock somewhere in there I would say. Play another game for a couple hours. Switch it to farm sim and, and have a good uh, rest of the day. You know, that's what I'm kinda thinking here soon. But maybe a couple more weeks on that. I don't know. I'm really really digging our multiplayer map right now. Like, I am kind of wanting to scale back my, my hours in Farm Sim just a little bit because, like, now that we have a release-ish time kind of thing, you know, fourth quarter of 2021 here for uh, Farm Sim 22, I kind of want to not take a break from Farm Sim because that's not the right term, but, like, just kind of scale back just a little bit, but that's okay. It won't be hard to do soon because we're going to have, you know, some new SnowRunner content and with the driving setup, that means we can play American Truck a whole bunch because that, that game's a lot of fun. Play that a bunch. Um, like I said, um, what's the other one? SnowRunner? American, SnowRunner, American Truck. And then, you know, we're talking about Minecraft. That's probably going to eat up a ton of hours here soon if we get everything working like I hope we can get everything working. That is, <laughs> if we can get it working like I want it to work, I'll probably play that a lot because 
you know, in the past, like Sarge and I, we get in there and we build these giant furnace arrays and all these big kelp farms and it's so much fun. And then if we can just have like quarries mining for us and we can, we can still spend like the time building, you know, the, the storage systems and the furnaces and stuff like that, but not have to worry about spending, you know, 8,000 hours out there mining just to find like four diamonds, you know, to build a pick. Or, I know it's three, but you know what I mean? That sure would be nice, right? So, yeah, I'm just gonna mm, sit tight. I'm gonna let those guys go. I mean, we're, we're, we have hired workers. We're gonna let them go. I think once, now that we're outside, we're past the initial outside rounds, I think we should be okay. And actually, they should probably be flipping. Maybe when they get here, they'll go internal and start working on their, their lands. Not sure though. That back combine. I guess the back combine is triggering off the first one. Let's go ride with him for a minute. He must be triggering off that combine up there. And like, hey, I need to empty and puts his pipe out. And oh, you're not a never mind, put your pipe away. Pipe out. Of course now that I'm talking about it, he's not gonna do it. Why would he, right? Of course. <laughs> Come on guys. You both need to be up here. What are we doing? What are we doing, guys? one thing maybe there's a config thing i need to like is there something in the settings probably is right i have it set to 60. but i don't know that's quite the right setting you know or maybe it needs to be on the auger wagon i'm not i'm not totally sure but they just like to drive around all crazy but like they're not they holy cow come on guys come on now Kind of, kind of funny. Come on, boys, you can do it. And see, talking about Minecraft, the joke's actually been that like, I'll stream Minecraft. Like, I'll say I'm gonna stream Minecraft when when I have like thunderstorms. So, oh man, I had to miss that stream. I'm sorry. You know, kind of a jerk like that. So, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, kind of funny. Kind of amusing, not gonna lie. I know I'm I'm mean, but hey. It's it's funny, right? Because you know, I haven't really been wanting to play Minecraft in quite a while. I'll I'll keep it real with you guys. Fun. Come on. Hit RX, let's go. I just heard it start up here. It comes, here it comes. We'll just ride to come mines for a little bit here. Hey, come these uh thunderstorms are starting to line up. Looks like there's going to be a line going all the way from like way up north, kind of come through St. Louis and then like over to like Tulsa. What it's starting to look like on the radar right now. So we'll see if that comes true or not. I'll we'll have to wait and see. All right, let's go, buddy. He may not move with a auto drive guy. He should. He may not. Is our truck come back yet or is our, okay. Truck's still unloading. Truck is unloaded. Takes a minute with a full truck. Oh, that truck holds a lot. 110,000. Kind of a lot, not going to lie. Alrighty. So what we're probably going to do here, guys, is uh, get this other auger wagon empty when the truck comes back. And then I'm probably going to call it a video. But I am going to let the harvest continue. So that we can hopefully get the selling day. That's the goal. So... If we continue the harvest, what day is it now? So, I don't, we might have another crop by then. I don't know. I do like to just spam the crops, you know? But at this point, I'm not buying, I might buy grain heads before land, you know? Because if I buy grain heads, then we can do something besides corn. I mean, I guess we could do soybeans right now, but, um, hello, game. I think my game just froze. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay. Uh, if we do corn heads, I'm tempted to buy these with the real. I've talked about this before, I know. But I could buy two of those for less than 200 grand. Getting them home would be the only problem because I don't, they don't have wheels. But I like the aerial. I do. I do like that. I might have to get like a header cart too. Which header carts in this game are kind of notoriously not good, but. 
I could grab a header card just to get them like out, you know, and then go from there. Anyway, looks like combines are rolling and the truck is back. Okay, let's go to the truck actually. Let's do this. Auger here. We need to get this guy out of the way so that the auto drive guys can do their thing that they need to do. All in due time, right? But this is going to run for probably the next, uh, well, they say two hours when we started, but with auto drive uh, stopping them from time to time, I mean, we're 40 minutes into this video. Not quite but close. I would say it's good. They're going to run for probably two hours, if not longer. So I don't quite have that long. Well, I kind of do. I kind of do kind of don't. I'm going to let the map run probably until the well, until I hit stream later <laughs> with whatever I'm playing. If it's Minecraft or Fire uh, Automation Empire, I'm not sure. One of those games. All right. And I know this tractor and auger wagon are kind of a waste at this point, but someday, guys. Someday we'll have a second auger wagon, a big one. We'll sell off the other two auger wagons. We have to buy two tractors for that too. So that's like kind of, kind of spendy. Okay. Actually, what are we doing? Here? What are we actually doing? Here? We got, okay. This is our last outside pass. And then we go to land. Okay. So we got one more outside round. Then we change to lands. Okay. We're good. I did three outside rounds and I always forget that when you're running multiple machines, it doubles. So it's six outside passes instead of three. That's okay. It's all good. Anyway, guys, that's uh corn harvest. It's going to run. It's going to do its thing. Now it'll go to automation mode. Hmm, what is with me on automating things here lately? Not just lately. It's something I really enjoy in video games. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like we're being stalked by some auger wagons and another combine. That's good. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you check out stream later today if you want to see some uh, forge harvesting or chaffing. That's going to be a good time. We're probably going to be doing that most of the stream, to be honest. We have a lot to go. We don't need it all, but we have a lot to go. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, uh, toodles.